Hi, welcome back to Kenton and Habiba. My name is Habiba for those of you joining us for the first time. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Yes, so today's gonna be a fun video. I can't wait for you guys to see my little outing with my daughter, Miriam. Uh, we went to meet this lady. Her name is Christy and she's the owner of The Burning Sphinx. Uh, she invited us to her studio. Well, what actually happened was that I met her at a, um, on the commons here in Carborough. There was a bazaar, uh, basically craft fair one weekend and we went, I met a lot of vendors, took a lot of pictures, um, got to know or got to see a lot of their work. And I was really intrigued, fascinated by this lady's work and I decided why not reach out and see if she would uh, like to show me her studio. And so that's how this all started. I reached out and she invited me to her studio. So I can't wait for you to see. So this is kind of how I get an idea of how the pieces would fit together. So these wings are going to actually be three separate pieces instead of like okay. a butterfly where there's two right um, or so obviously yeah. you're obsessed with butterflies oh, yeah butterflies fairies, or fairies. dragonflies <laughs> yeah yeah when, and these are obviously they, they deviate from the normal like butterfly shape right. um, a lot of fantasy exactly um, so and that's I mean I started off with the the ear pieces, but I really wanted to move towards wearable like wings on your back. So okay. that's kind of more what it, the direction I'm like going these. In. Yeah. Exactly. So are these just for children or adults uh, also? For adults also. Sometimes people want to like an adult would want a smaller set. Uh -huh. um, I start I started at kind of doing the wires curled instead of pointed, so that if they are at like a party or an event where. They're and they're amongst other people. They're not going to put people's eyes out <laughs> right. walking through. And they're all so. pretty light, so this is not yeah. something big and heavy no, and bulky. Very lightweight. This one, actually, I think I made the U shape a little bit long. It should be oh, wow. Like but um, the larger the wings, right. the more this needs to be uh, structured. Yeah. Like maybe a little bit longer. I might even put some pieces across here to keep them from, like, like this one. This one's not done yet, but right. it's, it's going to be very large. These are uh, wow. little moth wings. Right. And uh, it, it's wanting to kind of hang out like that because of the top part so heavy. Right. It, it, it spans out further than... So Miriam yeah. gets to try one. So Look at this. I'm going to just kind of put your hand on Now, this side. doesn't have to be for like Halloween or anything. It could be for a party. It yeah. could be for some themed yeah. event. Well, and like this, right. I mean, this piece, this, this is the large pieces. They're for a professional fairy ah. uh, persona that, that she goes around to Ren festivals and um, she actually... You know, oh, cute, Miriam. So you probably have a lower right. top to put that in. Right. And and once once they once somebody buys them, I angle the wings out a little bit more so that right. they're more natural. Right. Looking. Right. But yeah, they would be bent. Them right. Until that point, they need to be pretty flat. Sure. Turn around, yeah. Miriam. Wow, it is really light. That is cool. <laughs> yeah. This is cool. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, let's try another one on. I, I just material on the inside using ribbon instead of the felt. Yeah, I like those. And those actually, Miriam, in terms of scale, that looks like something I think for your size. Yeah. Ooh. See, those are angled out more I'm now. jealous. I want to be a fairy. <laughs> <laughs> swing around, swing, Miriam. That's so pretty and I'm it really suits your excited. dress. This is a different material than I've been using before. I, I started out using this iridescent stuff. Right, so okay. This is more transparent. Actually, I put a spray on this to kind of make it a little bit more frosted. Right, I do. Yeah. So that's, that's, um, that's the stuff that comes in the roll. That's really nice and single layer. So I double layer it um, to see how much the the wire in between the layers. Right. But this is kind of a, a type of organza. Uh-huh. It's a it's a um, art it's a man-made material but it's got these um, uh, iridescent threads in it. Nice. So and I sealed it with um, a waterproofing okay. sealer and painted it on. So it's, it's really, really sturdy luxury. Like uh, a dress or something that's right. got a low enough back 
um, you could just slide it right in. Right. But but uh, um, sometimes the weight of it, you might need to have like a strap. So I might might sure. to have a strap a belt to right. the heart to hold it underneath the dress. Right. So. Now I was really excited by your earrings because oh, that's yeah. what actually drew me to yeah. your station. I'm actually I'm starting to put stuff on Etsy again, mm -hmm. so I need to post that on my website. Significance or inspiration behind it? Um, just kind of evolving a theme where I started using the iridescent film to make these leaf shapes. Right. And then I've I've started using uh, playing around with this handmade paper. Oh, I even like your. Nail polish. Oh yeah, my jewelry nail polish. <laughs> it needs to be redone desperately. But yeah, yeah. it's beautiful. Yeah. Um, so and I just I found I got some of these bra um, uh, brass findings. Um, started playing with that. This is a simpler set. It's got two pieces to it. Again, that's the handmade paper. Right. Not unique. It's Beautiful and exotic and very light. And it's inspired by the um, uh, Emerald Swallowtail. Hmm. Uh, okay. So it's not, I mean, it isn't like exactly sure. like it, but it's kind of goddess vibes. Yes. I read it. Right. I can just try it on one. What do you think? <laughs> it's a, a pattern after a flower. I think it's actually lines in it after pressing it with heat. And that tends to intensify the color too. Oh, and wow. the, the iridescent factor of it. Now how long so, typically does it take you to do a set or to do one piece? Well since this is a relatively new method for me, mm -hmm. I'm still kind of trying to hash that out. Mm -hmm. But I would say it probably takes a few hours. Okay. Uh, at least. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It doesn't take long to create the pieces. Right. But to, to get it all wired together. Are you fairy. into a uh, Game of Thrones? And I am. Really? Yeah. yeah. Anything, anything really fantasy related, or right? Um, or even like um, Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. Right. They've Cosplay, read all the even, books. Like, superhero movies, that kind of stuff. I really like. So. Nice, Miriam. Look like a sort of mermaid goddess. Yeah. So yeah, it's giving me mermaid vibes. Of course, it's the color too. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> my nails need to be redone so badly. They're snagging my. I can't. I can't fix my hair without it snagging my right. strands out. It feels cool. So I don't know what it looks like. <laughs> it looks they're beautiful. Really lightweight, and they they're really comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, so especially in Carolina. Arts program. And uh, you know, I had planned to be a you know professional artist and all mm -hmm. that, but I didn't really know, you know, how to be a business person. Right. You know? Yeah, that's a whole so different I ended skill. Up just experimenting with a whole bunch of other avenues. I, you know, worked in the gallery, picture framing shop. Hmm. Then I went to get my master's degree in art therapy. Oh, okay. Did that for a few years. And burned out, got homesick. I was out in New Mexico so, doing that. Okay, so this is home, North this Carolina. Is home. This is where I was born and raised. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So uh, these are my. Let's elf see, ears. Miriam. Elf ears. Yeah, nice. Kind of like a, They're a, a little leaf, bit more subtle. The leaf shape. Yeah, exactly. I wanted to provide an option that wasn't quite so big. For a while, but as a uh, staging interior design staging person, I. I to decorate homes for resale. Oh, okay. So the, the the photographer would have something to photograph to photograph right. other than a blank empty right. house. Yeah, I know? totally get it. So I did that for a while, and then when my husband and I got married, he was like, you know, I've always wanted to just focus on my art, and I was like, oh, I always start a business. You know, I was like, really? <laughs> <laughs> it's like okay. So how long yeah. have you been doing this? Uh, it'll be two years. Okay. This March, actually. Wow. Yeah. And I know it's come with some challenges, but I'm sure it's gratifying too. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's definitely, um, you know, taking time, learning how to do the whole 
as an artist without needing to make money first. Okay. Yeah, you know, I, I needed to be a part of who I am. Right. Um, kind of just a part of my spirit, my my uh, way of being. And you said it's you started off with graphic arts. Graphic art. Yeah. But moved dad, away. Yeah, I moved away from it yeah, in in grad or um, undergrad because. I mean, I, I was doing it initially, I, not that I wasn't good at it, but that it was something that my parents wanted me to do. Yeah, and that's fine. You know, if, 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 if that's something that ended up making me happy, you know, that, that it was fulfilling for me, I would have kept up with it. But, and I still use it. Mm -hmm. I, I use it for my own. Body positive, I think, ties in with what I'm making now with the, the earpieces and the the wings and the tutus, it, it's its saying that you can be whimsical, you can be a fairy, you can be any magical being that you want to be, no okay. matter what size or shape or color or culture that you come from. It's its what makes you happy and, and enhances the beauty that you already have. That's that's Beautiful. something that, that I feel really passionate about. What's your website? My website, it's burningsphinxstudio.com. Um, and I have a, a just starting an Etsy page as well under the same name. Um, I need to get more stuff on it though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm shifting towards that more. So, but, but you'll find out on my website, you'll be able to see the events that I'll be in, there in person. Mm -hmm. Like the, the, the most recent one that just came up is the Starlight Meadery Mini Run Festival. That's okay, coming up what's that on about? The 5th or the 6th of August. Okay. Um, that is uh, hosted by Starlight Meadery. They make uh, mead, it's a honey wine. Oh. And um, they, apparently one of my customers came in wearing some of my earpieces and they started up a conversation about it. She's like, oh, I'm gonna, you know, she, she ended up contacting me to right. see if I wanted to vend. And it's, uh -huh. it's they're doing like a min miniature run festival because mead is kind of one of those ancient you know, things that have been around as, as, right. as long as wine has, I guess, and they decided to incorporate that into, uh, mm -hmm. this is about as organized as it gets. Okay. <laughs> it's organized chaos, essentially, <laughs> but I have everything that I need pretty much within range. Okay. This is kind of my, my main station for some of the smaller stuff. I've got all my beads and jewelry and, and, and wire and like, stuff like that right here, all my tools. Um, all the, the films that I use for the smaller pieces, cutting board, um, of course I eat well, here. Oh, I was going to say, what's the too. microwave for? Yeah, I, I eat lunch here <laughs> when, I, when, I, when I come in, or sometimes breakfast if I come in early enough. Yeah. Um, but then I have all my materials just kind of in these tubs so that I can easily see them. Like This is all full of glitter, different types of glitter. Um, the glitter too, fairy. Like, so I just started this. This is all the secrets. Oh, my sequins. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I'm trying to get more organized, but yeah, so that so things are, I don't have to rummage. Right. To try and find everything. And then I have my, uh, I just kind of stage what I'm going to do for display right there. Kind of give myself an idea of how I started playing with, just kind of as a side thing where you can mm -hmm. actually um, hang jewelry. Oh, okay. Things. I, it's, this is a type of eyelet, mm. and it's got a print on it, so that I use the holes to hang jewelry. I see. I made one for myself, mm -hmm. and I went to the restore uh, in Durham, right? and they had a whole box full of these embroidery That's hoops. a good store. They're like a dollar each. Wow. And then I got some remnants from mm -hmm. Joann's or something like that, and just made a whole bunch oh, of jewelry. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Both of you. Oh, yeah. So where do we look? Down here? Uh-huh. <laughs> This is on video, of course. <laughs> Wasn't that cool? I hope you enjoyed seeing Christy's work and visiting her studio. It was so beautiful, and I really appreciate her giving me the time um, and, and really talking from the heart about her journey and about her business and showing us a lot of her pieces. Um, I really hope that you will reach out to her or check out her website. Um, and if you live in the local area, uh, find her, the Burning Sphinx. Again, I will leave her link in the description box below and I probably have left it somewhere in the video as well. Um, but yeah, it was really, really nice. And don't you think all those things looked 
so beautiful on Mariam. I thought she looked so cute with them. And I hope people really do support um, small businesses like the Burning Sphinx. So if you liked this video, which I hope you did, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up and feel free to share this with someone who you think might like this sort of thing. Um, and also, if you know of another business out there or unique uh, small business owner, another creative who you think I might enjoy meeting um, or talking to, please go ahead and leave me a comment um, and I will definitely reach out to them. Or if you yourself have a unique and interesting business and you would like me to um, see it um, and, you know, put it here on YouTube, I certainly would love to do that as long as you live in the um, Raleigh, Durham, Chapel Hill, Carborough area. So the Triangle area you can definitely find me and I would be more than happy to come meet you. So don't forget to share, like, and subscribe and thumbs up. And thank you for watching and come back soon. I'm sure I will have something else fun and interesting for you to see. God bless.